Day Year One, it's Mrs Maynard and Bert back again for your next English video. In the video yesterday, you will have seen that I put together some rhyming words. I wonder, what two words did you choose? You can pause the video now to go and take a look at your work. In the video today, I'm going to show you how we can turn those rhyming words into our own poem. Take a look at how I get on with the poem all about Bert. Okay boys and girls, I'm now going to use my rhyming words from yesterday to make my own poem all about Bert. I think I'm going to put my title at the top of my poem first. I'm going to call it Bert the Cat. His name, Bert, Bert, the cat. There's my title of my poem at the top of the page. Now, the first part of my poem, I think I'm going to use all those words that rhyme with cat. I need to put my rhyming words at the end of each of my sentence. I think my first sentence is going to be, I have a pet cat. I'm going to start all the way over here on the margin. I, red word I, have. Use my finger space. Have. Finger space A. Finger space pet. Check it back. I have a pet cat. Brilliant. Mm. So I now need to put one of my rhyming words that rhymes with cat at the end of my sentence. Mm. I think I know. I think I'm going to put the word mat there. And I'm going to write, he sleeps on a mat. Say the sentence with me. He sleeps on a mat. He sleeps. on a mat. Let me check back, let me check it rhymes. I have a pet cat, he sleeps on a mat. Ooh, it's a good start to my poem, boys and girls. Mm. What's the next bit going to be? I need to put a word at the end of my sentence that rhymes with cat and mat. I'm going to look at my list. Oh yes, I think I've spotted one. I think I'm going to use the word mat, at, uh, sorry, pat at the end of my sentence. Boys and girls and grown-ups, you might notice I'm leaving a line between my, um, my sentences at the moment because my lines are a bit small here and my, my writing gets a bit squashed otherwise. You might find at home as well, you might only have a pad of paper like I have where the lines are very thin. You can always miss a line out to stop your work getting a bit too squashed, if that helps you. So back to my poem. That's right, I'm going to put the word pat there. I know, I give him a pat. I give him a Really good. I think I want one more sentence. Oh, I don't think Bert will like this sentence about him, but it's true. I'm going to have to write, he feels quite fat. He feels Okay, let's check my poem. I have a pet cat. He sleeps on a mat. I give him a pat. He feels quite fat. Take a look at how I get on with the next part of my poem. This time, 
I'm going to use all those words that rhyme with white. What shall I get on? Can you see all the rhyming words I used? I used white, bright, bite, and tonight. Let me read it to you. Bert the cat. I have a pet cat. He sleeps on a mat. I give him a pat. He feels quite fat. His fluffy fur is black and white. His eyes are green and very bright. He is gentle and will not bite. I think I will hug him tonight. I hope that you like my poem all about Bert. Now it's your turn. Can you use your rhyming words to write your own rhyming sentences? The teachers are really looking forward to seeing how you get on this week. Have a great week, everyone. See you soon. Bye.